Today's question, how do I start a sole proprietorship in Wisconsin? Well, in Wisconsin, anyone can start their own business and form it as a sole proprietorship. There is no special paperwork that must be filed with the state to form a sole proprietorship. Check with your local municipality if you live in a city or some other entity whether you would need a specific business license. Uh, and that may have to do if you're working or operating a business out of your home. But to form the sole proprietorship, there's no specific paperwork that needs to be filed like an LLC. With an LLC, you do need to file uh, articles of incorporation with the State Department of Financial Institutions. But to form a sole proprietorship, you can do that simply by opening business and operating under your own name. Now, to go down to the bank and open a checking account, you should be able to use your personal social security number to open a business checking account in your name. I have heard though sometimes you run into trouble when trying to do this. For that reason, you might want to get an EIN. Watch my other videos to discuss that more. But it's an employee ID identification number from the IRS. You can get an EIN for your sole proprietorship take that letter down to the bank, show them that, and that may help speed along opening your business checking. There's lots of articles out there about operating a successful small business. I'm just talking a little bit from what I know from practice and personal experience. But the first things you want to do is decide on your entity name, operating under your own name, and then go get that business checking or savings account open so you can operate your business through there. Again, you can use your social security number, but if you run into trouble with your bank, consider getting an EIN for your sole proprietorship before you do that. Other than that, you do not need to register with the state of Wisconsin like you would with a corporation, an LLC, or some other entity. I hope that helps you understand how sole proprietorships work in Wisconsin. And if you have a question for a future video blog series, please feel free to submit it through my website and I will try to answer it in the future. Thank you for watching.